Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick from Nick Exposed. Before I go into this episode, I wanna talk about this t-shirt. So if you guys know, back in 2016, I launched an apparel line called Two Stops Apparel. It's all film photography related. Uh, but before then, back in 2012, I launched this t-shirt. So it says, eat, dream, shoot, and it's kind of a play on one of those eat, sleep, ski, whatever. Um, but it has like 35 millimeter film on the, the plate, and then the guy's shooting a four by five, and it was just kind of, Fine. I found it in the closet today and uh, squeezed into it because I'm no longer a medium, but I squeezed into it for some nostalgia sake for the uh, the video today. But anyways, this is not what the, uh, the video is about. The video is all about photo books. If you guys have been following the channel for any length of time, you guys know that I'm huge, huge, huge into photo books. Back before the new year, I put out a, uh, a video talking about um, five photography investments apart from gear. Uh, I'll link to that up here because uh, I think it's an amazing, amazing video, but uh, it specifically talks about uh, photo books being one of them. And this year I've really been, in the last like six months, I've been practicing what I preach and really investing in more photo books and, and just diving into photo books from masters that, that I absolutely love. Uh, Robert Duano and uh, Eugene Atjay and Ralph Gibson and Elliot Erwitt and all these different uh, photographic masters and being able to look at the way that they sequence their photos, the way that they, uh, you know, like printed their photos. And, and some of them were printed by them and some of them weren't. But anyways, uh, building that library and really just studying the works of of past masters and current contemporary masters and just stuff like that. But one of the big things that I get asked over and over and over again is how do you afford all these photo books? And, and I think there's a, a general misnomer and a general uh, misconception that photo books have to be expensive or that building a photo book library is expensive. And I, I was under that impression for a long time until I found these few resources that I'm gonna share on here. And I'll be honest with you, I've kind of held these tight and close to my chest for a while because uh, I didn't want to just leak these out there and let all of the photo book uh, treasures that I was finding just get snatched up by everyone else. But at the same time, I'm realizing that that's kind of selfish of me, and I really want you guys to be able to uh, to enjoy some of these resources as well. So. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna share two websites specifically that I've found the greatest deals uh, like ever on a consistent basis. So you wanna stick around for that, but I'm gonna cover a couple other areas that I constantly look for photo books in as well. So before we go too much further, I wanna kinda of share some of the photo books that I've recently picked up uh, that I got in within the last like week, week and a half or whatever. But uh, this is one called uh, just Robert Duano. Uh, it's legitimately just called Duano. And it's an amazing book talking about uh, Robert's just amazing life as a photographer and just the uh, the breadth of photography that he's done. So I'm going to talk about these first three and why I'm showing these here in a second. But um, the next one is actually Annie Leibovitz's uh, Olympic Portraits. I believe this is like the 1994 Olympic Portrait Team or the Olympic team that she took portraits of in an amazing, amazing book. I talked about this on a recent uh a uh, question and answer video talking about some of my all-time favorite books uh, and these are ones that have absolutely impacted my photography. Another one is is Paris by Eugene Atjay. Uh, this is an amazing thick and big book um, from Eugene Atjay and just covering his, his life in Paris in the early 1900s or late 1800s. Uh, and these, these three that I just showed specifically are actually gonna be, I've already had copies of those and they're actually gonna be part of a giveaway that I'm doing here on the channel coming up. So stick around, subscribe to the channel if you wanna be part of that giveaway. There's gonna be actually a bunch of other books. I think I might throw in my copy of uh, The Americans by Robert Frank. It's one of my all time favorite books. I've been diving into it over and over and over again, but not that I don't like it. I'll probably get another copy, but I, I just wanna pass that one along uh, and just put it in someone else's hands who can study it and just learn from it as well. But uh, some other ones that I've recently gotten for myself is Elliot Erwitt's Dog Dogs. Uh, this is a nice thick book. It was actually originally put out by Barnes and Noble. Um, tons of images in there. Uh, a book from uh, the Modern Museum of Art, which is all on Brassai. Uh, if you guys Again, Paris, Brissai has been uh, just a, a huge influence from the uh, the world of Paris photography and Parisian photography. I got a giant Leica manual. I actually got this guy for $3, if you can believe it. Uh, and actually that Brissai book only cost me about five bucks. Uh, and then one of my most uh, recent, like exciting, exciting ones to show up is uh, this Paris Mon Amour. Uh, this is also by Toshin, uh, same company that printed the Eugene Atjay book. 
but this has at J Brissai, Duano, uh, Andre Cartier Bazan. It's got Ralph Gibson in it. It's amazing, amazing. And the beautiful thing is, I got all of those books, like that entire stack of books, I got for less than twenty dollars. And I'm gonna tell you how I did that in this video. So uh, I'm gonna break it up into two different sections. One of them is locally, where you can go locally to search for books, to search for good deals on books, and then the second part is gonna be online, and that's where I'm gonna specifically give uh, at the end two uh, very, very important websites in my photo book excursions, I don't know, what do you wanna call them, treasure hunts, um, to be able to find consistent, amazing deals on photo books. So without further ado, going into uh, local shoppings and local treasure hunts for photo books, um, big ones are uh, Barnes & Noble. Going to Barnes & Noble, I recently actually just got this book, uh, Rodney Smith, uh, just got this earlier this weekend, uh, Wednesday night, and I got it in the 50% off bin. This is brand new, it was in their 50% off bin at Barnes & Noble, so I got it for $37, and it just blew my mind. I couldn't help but to, uh, to pick that book up. Um, but if you look in their 50% off bins, uh, or sometimes they have 75% off bins, and then even within their front breezeway, if, if you know Barnes & Noble, if you go in there, uh, typically what, how it is is you go into a door and then there's another door, and within there, there's just carts of books that have been discounted and discounted and discounted, and sometimes you could find really, really incredible photo books in there. So definitely search on there. You could also go online at barnesandnoble.com. They have an online section to where you could find used books. But then other bookstores, specifically if you look at uh, small mom and pop shops. So these guys are, are great because when you find a photo book in there, normally it's going to be uh, used or they'll typically have a large used section. And you can kind of haggle with them on price. Those mom and pop shops have a much more uh, larger leeway on prices of photo books because they're not big Barnes & Noble type stores to where they're trying to keep their doors open every single month. So they gotta pay rent and you can typically jump back and forth and kind of work out an even better deal than what they might have marked on there. Um, so uh, definitely check those out. You can do a Google search in your town to, to find some local stuff like that. But then also thrift stores. Uh, I found so many different, my actually original copy of Annie Leibovitz's uh, Olympic Portraits, I found at a thrift store for probably like $5 or less. I can't remember the exact price. If you look on Craigslist or any of the other, even Facebook market uh, in your local town, you could put out um, just calls for like searching for or in search of and then list out photo books that you're looking for and you'd be surprised on how many people uh, actually respond back with different photo books. And then also if you find uh, somebody on Craigslist or on Facebook who's selling a large lot of photography equipment in your town, um, reach out to them and say, hey, I know that I've seen that you're you know, selling this large lot of in larger equipment. Uh, do you happen to have any photo books as well? Because I would uh, definitely be interested in purchasing those off of you. You'd be surprised on how many times it'll pop up as, yes, hey, I, I actually got a, you know, Richard Avedon book or a whatever, you know. So definitely reach out and, and just take that extra little bit of initiative uh, to see what pops up at the end of the day. And then libraries within your own town. We talked about it in the past where you can go and rent out amazing photo books but also they have a used book section uh, nine times out of 10 at your local library to where after books have been sitting on the shelf for, for years, they gotta recycle them out and then put new ones on the shelf. So they actually bring those over and they put them in the used section and they, they aren't trying to make a huge amount of money off of those books, they're just trying to get them out the door. So uh, I found a, a Scotland book for a buck 50 and it was just incredible, incredible works. Uh, all about like Scotland graveyards. It's really interesting and a, a very, very beautiful book. But um, libraries is a, another great resource within your own town. Switching gears over to online, uh, you got the big ones. You got like eBay, Amazon. Um, I already mentioned Barnes & Noble online. Uh, but then you could also look at Etsy, Etsy.com. And if you actually, here's a, a good tip is if you go to Google, and you just search out. So let's say you're looking for the Rodney Smith book, right? You go on and you search Rodney Smith photo book or Rodney Smith. And then there's the shopping tab at the top of Google. If you click on that, you'd be surprised. I once found a book at Target of all places. They had this photo book that I was looking for and it was at a discounted price uh, for whatever reason. And I purchased it. It was brand new, but it was like 75% off on Target's website. 
And I, I wouldn't have come across it if I didn't hit that shopping tab at the top. So Google's another great place to just look it up. Maybe Yahoo or something like that has another shopping tab that you could check out. But uh, Etsy, Amazon, Amazon, you can find all sorts of used books. Um, but then eBay. And specifically on eBay, what I like to do is I'll go over to the drop down menu over to the side. And the way that you can organize uh, how posts pop up, you could go to uh, purchasing option or buying option or whatever it's called. I'll put it up on the video here. Um, but I like to click accepts offers. And then it only shows me the, uh, the posts that will accept offers first and foremost. And I go through those and I'll find a good price. And then I'll go in and, and you can make an offer. So it has two different options. You can actually buy it right then and there for that price that they have it listed at, or you can make an offer. And if they select make an offer, or if they select accept an offer, it already tells you that they're looking to just get rid of the book and that they're okay with offers coming in. So then what I'll, I'll do is I'll throw out like a, a low ball offer, 10, $15 less, or sometimes five if it's already cheap. And uh, I'll just kind of meet them either halfway or you know three quarters of the way and then let them re either respond and accept that offer or respond back with a, uh, a rebuttal offer. And uh, I've gotten tons of books at super, super cheap prices because of that. So all the resources that I've covered up to this point is probably covered about 25 to 30% of my book collection like findings. Everything else that I've gotten, like 75% of the books that I've purchased have been through these two resources. These like blew my mind as soon as I found these and I consistently find books at amazing, amazing deals on both of these resources. One actually has an app for your iPhone and probably your Android as well. The first one is Abe Books, abebooks.com. Uh, this is an amazing, amazing resource because it's a Rolodex of all sorts of different companies that are selling books. And what it does is it pulls from this giant pool of resources and then shows you all the responses and then you can go through and you could find something within your budget nine times out of ten uh, at a very very cheap rate and be able to purchase directly from that place. It's a great system. Their website can be kind of quirky sometimes, so you might have to fight through some quirks of the website. Um, but if you do, it's, it's just an amazing resource that you'll be able to start finding books at $10 or less. And then the second one, this is my all-time, all-time favorite book, photo book, regular book, whatever book resource, and it's thriftbooks.com. Uh, I'm going to link to these all down below, so you can go down there and check them out. But thriftbooks.com, they actually have an app for your phone as well, and that's where I search for the, like, I pull it up in the middle of the night, and I'm just looking through books, and I'm buying them, like, left and right. And the beautiful thing about thriftbooks.com is if you buy books for $10 or more, or if you group them together, if your order ends up at $10 or more, you get free shipping. So that's why I buy so many books. I'll find, like two books at like $4 a piece, and then I just buy another book at $3 a piece, or $3 to get it over 10, so that way I don't have to pay $5 for shipping. And it just makes so much sense. And then if you find a $15 book, boom, you already got free shipping. And it's just one of the most incredible, incredible things. Like I said, uh, some of these books, this guy here, I think I got for like $3. And then, I mean, both of these, if you were to take all three of these, I think I, I think actually this is legitimately the deal that I did where I, I think I spent like $12 on, on this entire package right here. Uh, and then they all shipped out from the different places that they ship and I got them all in the mail. The nice thing about thrift books is, is they come in super, super fast. You'll have it within the week and it just blows my mind. I don't even know how they're able to do this, but they do and it's an incredible, incredible resource. And like I said, I, I've held on to these for quite a while because just kind of letting these go and knowing that you guys are gonna be snagging up a bunch of my favorite books is kind of scary, but I want you guys to be able to, uh, to take advantage of these resources as well. So I'd love to hear your resources in the comments down below. Where do you find your books? Do I miss any resources? And then what are the books that you found recently? I'd love to hear that as well. Before you take off, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like I said, we got a big giveaway coming up tour. I'm probably going to give away, uh, I don't know, five to 10 different photo books that, uh, that have really, really drastically impacted my photography and uh, just my way of seeing. And I really look forward to getting those into you guys' hands in the, uh, the upcoming giveaway. So make sure you like and subscribe down below. Share this video with your friends. Uh, put this out there and just let people know that they could find photo books, they could find other books, textbooks, and, and all sorts of literature or whatever for super, super cheap. It doesn't need to be expensive across the board. There are still going to be books that you're going to have to spend a lot of money on. That's just the, the name of the game. But for so many of the books that you're looking for, you could
could find them for super cheap at these resources. So I look forward to hearing you guys' comments down below. I look forward to connecting with you guys on here, on Instagram, and on the next video. Until then, go and push yourself. Two stops, what do you guys think about this? I'm continuing on with this whole like sign out of pushing yourself with two stops. What do you guys think about it? I'd love to hear, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.